Good morning. It is Saturday, February 26th. I'm gonna make this real quick. If there's one thing about me, I love a tote bag. I love a tote bag. So, here's my agenda for today. We're about to go get a tote bag. We are going to get some pictures developed. We're gonna stop by MSG. And maybe, maybe, I'm gonna buy a little something, something for myself. So, let's go. Okay, I made it. 12.49, the tote bags don't start till 12. And because it's so cold out, they moved the lines inside. I'm across the street. Goddamn, that line is long, so I should go inside. I'm gonna go inside, but I'm gonna walk this way so I don't get hit by a car. That's what the pop-up looks like. That's where I'm going, and y'all pray for me, I get a tote bag because this shouldn't be long start those well up and it's crowded. A few moments later. Y'all, Soho pisses me off. Pop-ups are starting to piss me off. Especially tote bag pop-ups, pop because how this specific pop-up only have tote bags? You're only doing tote bags for two days, right? Friday, Saturday. The tote bags don't start till 12 p.m. It's 11.53. Why this man told me the line was capped off? How y'all done with tote bags? And the tote bag event didn't even start yet. Two plus two is not equal to four. I'm mad, I'm annoyed. I'm hungry. I don't know if I want a donut. I want a donut. I deserve a donut. Something in my head, because I got to th go to 34th Street, it's telling me to go to Chimai Ramen. But, they always got a fucking line too. And my, my jackass is going to do it. Because Duncan over there too. I've come to the conclusion that even though sometimes you want to romanticize your life, life doesn't want you to romanticize it. And you just gotta take that. I'm home now. And can I just say that that pop up ruined my entire mood that I didn't even want to do anything else for the rest of the day? I think I said it in the clip before this one. But sometimes you try to romanticize your life, and life just doesn't want to be romanticized. And you gotta learn to live with that. But. I was really excited for that tote bag and I don't have it. And then the ramen place I wanted to go to, I knew as soon as I saw the line, I was like, yeah, nah, I'm not gonna go there. So I went somewhere else, which is not bad. I don't I don't know why I keep doing that with that specific ramen place. I know there's always gonna be a line. And I'm like, hmm, maybe I'll wait it out today. No, no. I did end up going MSG what I wanted was still so the kinds of tickets I wanted was still sold out which I wasn't expecting anything from that so that's fine um you know how when some people are sad they go spend more money I didn't want to go do that because I'm not gonna hold y'all I am so tired of paying for the freaking train um I think I said I was gonna get my photos developed earlier today I'm gonna do that on Monday after work um that gift that little something, something i was gonna buy myself maybe tomorrow maybe heavy on maybe i don't even i don't know but y'all know when one thing goes wrong everything else in your head just starts spiraling of all the things that you gotta fix or you gotta do that's just not going the way you want it to go that's how i'm feeling right now like didn't get the tote bag then I made a new plan to go get that ramen. I was like, yeah, this is not going to work out. I went the wrong way the first time. So that that made me more upset. And then I was like, you know what? F this. I'm going home. And as I'm on my way home, I'm just like, wow, I got to keep paying for the train. I got to keep doing this. I got to keep doing that. I got to keep doing this. I got to keep doing that. I gotta fix this, I gotta worry about that, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. And all I wanna do is take it one step at a time, but I can't do that because that's not how my mind works. 
and now it's 3 20 and i don't want to do anything for the rest of the day but i have to do stuff because i have something to do tomorrow at 5 15 in brooklyn and this part of brooklyn is very far from my home and the last time i tried to do this thing in brooklyn I was late and I couldn't even go, which was again another waste of paying for the train. I don't know why I was going on that tangent, so I'm gonna stop this video right here before I talk for like 10 more minutes. I'll see y'all next time.